Welcome back, everyone, to Dark Souls 3. So, I realized I have this coal here that I haven't given to Andre yet. Um, so, it's used to forge the great swords of the Undead Legion of Farron. So, give to the blacksmith and shrine to allow use of gems for heavy, sharp, and poison infusion. Okay, so we're gonna give this coal to him. Ah, it is good to see, wasn't he? Uh, oh my, this coal is from the Undead Legion, used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. Mm -hmm. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Is it just me or is this actually loud? Praise the gods, hey. Time to put this brawn to use. Maybe it's <laughs> a little extra loud. Okay, so. Oh, by the way, if you find any estate without those, I'm there. So that was used to actually work on the weapons of the Abyss Watchers. We're gonna have to do this in two parts. I'm sorry to interrupt your epic gameplay moment here, but we're gonna have to stop the recording and come back. Keep snuffing out the flames of three altars, Eve. I. So as soon as you're ready, let me know. Okay. Okay, we'll be back, guys. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry for that rude interruption. Jacob here just had to go. But the, the audio was too sure. high. <laughs> audio was not right. I can't stand it if the audio is not right. Ooh, it bugs me. So, I have done some thinking. Okay, first of all, it has been a really long time since I've last played this game. A couple months. No, it hasn't been a couple months. Let me see. Do I have? No, I don't. Okay, so... What I wanted to do was actually go back to, what's his name again? Help me out here. Root guy, what's his name? The root dude, root tree guy. The, the boss that the I never- The Deku tree? <laughs> the boss that I never fought in the undead settlement. Yeah, the great Deku tree. So I wanna go back and fight that boss because I think that might be the only thing I haven't covered in the Undead Settlement. So... What about that item right there in the thumbnail for the level? Have you gotten that exact item? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow, what <laughs> happened? You We're got back. scared already? I am a derp and I didn't realize I had so many souls with me, so I don't want to go over there with all these souls, so we're going to level then touch the take now. Okay, um Let's put it in Vigor and that's the only thing I can do. Let's actually do it in all this all this excitement for a little bit of vigor. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Farewell, Let me Russia. check over here. I don't think I can reinforce my weapon, but I'm gonna try. Uh, just what needs. No, I can't. I need four large titanite shards. Uh... Okay. Um, Today, be careful. Let me see really quick. I just want to check if I can level up with this guy. I. No, I can't. As I have said, I'm, but I may. It's so strange. I don't understand. I was able to level up with him three times, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Ah. I don't know, it's weird. Um <gasps> I want this hat. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I totally had the souls to get this hat. What? Oh no. <laughs> I will get this hat. I will get it. And it will be awesome. Okay. But for now, you're gonna settle for some arrows. <laughs> Close enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ashley. 
Alright, let's go... I still have some school stuff. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, let me go see Patches, because I think he has poison arrows, so I might have enough. For you just don't want to go to the end of I do! I'm scared. I just don't want to go with all these souls. Okay. We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. I think that's new. <laughs> No? Wait. <laughs> Wait, just... <laughs> huh. You bastard. He didn't say anything about, um, Grey Rat being gone or anything. They don't give a shit. Okay. So now we're gonna go back and I'm, I'll meet you guys in front of wow. the classroom. Okay. Let's see. I'll oh, see you guys back at Firelink. <laughs> Okay, so we are friends now, so he shouldn't hit me. So let's test it. Me and you? I never hit you. We've always been friends. Uh-oh. Let's see. You're next. It totally looks like it's coming at me. Like, is it gonna be on a loop? What do you mean? I thought he was just gonna keep throwing it in that same spot. Oh. Please, no! I'm your friend. Dude, you almost hit me. Dude, chill! We're friends! We're cool. All right, let's go in here. I think it's just this guy. So, I have an announcement to make. Dun dun dun. Um, you guys may already know, depending on if the video is live yet or not. But however. We are going to be streaming Dark Souls 3 next week, and I want to try to make it more of a regular thing. Um, oh, you can kind of see in there. It's hard because it's hard for us to commit to anything. We're afraid of commitment. <laughs> um, like, that girlfriend especially, she can't even commit to like what she wants to eat. Um, but we're going to try to do this. Oh, it didn't start right away. And we want to we wanna kind of live stream the game basically because live streaming is kind of more fun than doing vod yeah uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna live stream girlfriend playing it we're gonna bump up the quality of the stream uh 1080p 60 frames per second hopefully hopefully we can manage that um so the quality is the same we're gonna try to adjust the audio levels to be right um you guys might have to help us with that at first because i want the audio to sound pretty much like this like this does um and we're gonna then cut that up and then put that on the youtube channel um for those who miss it but we it's just a lot of moments that you guys are missing out on not being here live and we're gonna have face cam not being here alive is not, that what you said not being here alive with us <laughs> you, you guys watch this and it's like Man, we recorded this. We recorded... What, what day is it right now? This is one day after the game came out. This is Monday. Monday what? What, what, is, what is Monday? Monday the, the 23rd? Um, May. May. Okay, so it's not one day after the game came okay. out, but... So. <laughs> okay, never mind. From what I remember, this is his weak spot. His balls. Something is happening to me. I think, is that, what was that? Ah, oh, crap. 
I don't like this part. I'm glad you don't get fall damage from this, because if this was, like, normal... Let me see, what's behind this guy? Oh, crap! I don't understand, what is that? Is it doing something to my stamina? I can't tell if the stamina was going down because I was, like, running all over the place, or... It's so weird. Does this do- Oh, it does. Ew. It's pretty gross, man. Yes! Yes, keep doing that. Oh! There's stuff on his arms, too! I want to get the one on his back. Yeah, that's not gonna... Um. Oops. Get out of there. Oh. Oh, crap. It's up. <gasps> and it fell. Damn it. It's a little bobby, you can't walk for very long. Get away from me. Dude. It's so hard. I'm trying not to get in his thing. Ow! I'm gonna get trapped. Indicted. I got my warheads ready, guys. No. I'm not sure what it is. Okay then, back to what I was saying. So, hold on. Oh. Soul of the Rotted Greatwood and Transposing Kiln. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath there. <sighs> okay. Um, so, what was that thing that was like oozing out of it? It's just his like sack juice. Yeah, but what was it doing to me? Like she was kind of like screaming or it, something. It was like doing chip damage, and it was every my time stamina, every time my... you you couldn't like run, and so every time you got damaged, it was like stopping your movement, and it might be like degrading your weapons and stuff. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so let's see. I'm not an expert at this game. Homeward bone. Wait, be wary of sadness. War God Wooden Shield. Okay, uh, let's see. Is there anything else over here? Like. <gasps> oh, okay, then. <laughs> that was pretty cool. The hell even was it? <laughs> it was an enemy. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Not sure. Where did he go? Then he landed over here. He like, hit so hard, he just fell through the, the level. Yeah. Um. So, as I was saying, Whoa. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope you guys come out. I'm going to have Warheads there. You're going to get to meet Warheads live and see my reaction to the Warheads. So that's cool. Make sure you bring your favorite candy, too. Yeah. Uh, preferably 
you know, sour, and every time girlfriend dies, you can eat a sour candy too, and then then you be like, hey, girlfriend, please stop dying, my tongue's bleeding, <laughs> and then and then she'll she'll play good, right? Maybe no. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. <laughs> okay, so soul of the curse rotted great wood, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls. Okay. Ever since its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. So all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. So curses as in like the undead? And the curse of like the dark sign type thing, maybe? The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. I don't know, but as I was saying, it's gonna be 7 p.m. <laughs> Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, please come on over, tell your friends, let's have a party. Okay, an old transposing kiln from Corland crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide. Give to Ludlith, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. Okay, so this is what he was talking about. This kiln can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence, deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Nice. Okay. So I think we got uh we got a shield. I don't remember also. This one. Oh, never what? mind. Never mind. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> War god wooden shield. Wooden shield reinforced with metal, the largest of the wooden medium shields. The bizarre pattern featured on the shield is the mark of a mad god, revered as a god of war in remote regions. Let me see. Okay. So, I was thinking of upping the ante with this whole warhead thing, and like, I was thinking that maybe I should take it to the next level, and when Beverly dies, I should eat a hot pepper. It almost looks like the Majora's Mask. Every time she dies, I shoot a hot pepper. You eat a hot pepper? I eat a hot pepper. Wow. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of that. You like hot things, though. I like hot things, but when it comes to Ooh. stuff like ghost peppers, that shit messes me up. Ghost peppers are too much for me. What happened if I rested? So, basically, I don't really know what happened just now to my voice. <laughs> I think I might have just went through puberty. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what was, hold on. What was vertebrae shackle? Did I get that and not notice, or is it something I've always had? Uh, I don't know. A lot of times Wait. stuff happens, you don't notice. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, that happens a lot. Oh, no. I try to be as thorough as possible. I guess I missed No, it. I'm kidding. You see all this stuff. Special bone collected by- Okay, I remember this, I think. Covenant of Mound Makers discovered in the corpse of their victims. I think I saw this. Where did I find this? Only one such bone is found in the vertebrae, and the Mound Makers believe it to be a shackle of the gods. In their mind, each victim is another connection in addition to the family. Is this what I got from that body near the wolf? Or was that something else? I really don't remember where I got Ow. this. But I'm going to offer it, I guess. Offer it. I have one. What? What does this mean? I mean, you want to offer. Ooh. Uh oh. What does this mean? <gasps> Covenant allegiance deepened. I don't know, but your wolf is on fire up there. You did something to him. That was already on fire because of the embers. Damn it, you've noticed. I tried. I tried to screw you up. So, what does this mean? Basically, this means I can't tell you. I'm sorry. Sacrificial altar. What does that mean? I can't tell you. I was sworn to secrecy. Someone might want to chime in, but I, I cannot. Covenant 
deep in like what it's saying i'm in the covenant now or something i did something that was supposed to be for a covenant but i'm in the farron wood covenant i think yeah, so Taya, kid yeah, not Taya. is that related to this is it linked to this whoa hmm i'd like to go back up there and see what it looks like I'll meet you guys back to that. Well, actually, there might be some stuff going on at Firelink. Bars. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check Bars. this. <laughs> I'm gonna go check this first. Meet you guys there, and then I'll go back to Firelink. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. Uh Okay then. Um Now what? <laughs> Wait, does this have anything to do with the the guy that I like screwed up the covenant with that you were telling me about? Can't tell you. I don't know, maybe I could tell you, because you screwed up the covenant, but I can't tell you. I mean, there's a bunch of cages there. What do you think, guys? Should I tell her? And then the altar was saying something about a covenant. Uh-oh. Well. Geronimo! <laughs> I guess, uh... That was pointless. Oh well, I guess we're going back to Firelink then. All right, so let's go. Let's see, just quick look around. Is there anything different? No, no new people showing up out of nowhere. Let's go give the thing to Ludlith. That's his name, right? Ludlith? Fret not, fret not. My feet are here, for, for I am the Lord. Bloodless, yep. Here you go. Yes. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. <laughs> Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Let's begin transposition. I want to try it out. Let's try it. Wait. Oh, wait. This is... <gasps> Havel's Ring! Whoa, okay. So these are things that he has that I can get from, I guess, what I... The things that I had. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you even say? You made absolutely no sense. I don't even know what you're talking about. With anymore. the souls. These are the things that I can get from the souls that I have. So this is gonna be from Crystal Sage. So this is probably the uh, attack that she had maybe. Unique sorcery developed by extraordinary preacher twins known as the Crystal Sages. Cast a cascade of small crystal soul masses from above. Crystal soul masses have piercing qualities. In a pack said to have been formed long ago, one of the sages al allied with the um, allied allied, right? Mm -hmm. With the undead legion in order to train the sorcerers of Farron. So, like, I don't remember, there's a way you can get, like, purple type magic, right? Purple type sorcery? Because the crystal sage that I was fighting, the actual crystal sage, she had, like, kind of like, like this move, but it was purple. 
And then the um, the duplicates, the fake ones, they were the ones with the blue one. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, and this one's for the stray demon. This is I the think, one. I think the main one might have been doing like deep, like deep crystal or something. Hmm. Art of a stray demon of stifled flame. Spews a boulder from one's mouth. The boulder is heavy, but shatters easily. What? Like, I spit this out of my mouth? I spit a boulder out of my mouth? Is this what it's saying? Pretty much, yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. I kind of want that. So... Oh, okay. So you can get multiple things. So you can either get, for, let's say, Crystal Sage, you can get the rapier, or you can get the actual soul, like, type sorcery stuff. So this is for Hollow Slayer Greatsword. Greatsword used for a lifetime by a masked knight. Harbors the fears that lurk within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Bestowed to a proper mirror knight long ago. Two hand to ex execute special sword techniques. That Wait. sword fucking sucks. Hold on. Fucking fuck. I hate that sword. Do what? So which one was that one? Where did that come from? I can't tell you. I don't think it would have been him. I just want to say, guys, right now I'm enjoying some fresh watermelon, and it is so good. It's like transcendental. I'm like, I'm like meditating right now. Uh -huh. so. Let's see. Okay, so thrusting sword with tiny crystals scattered across its blade used by the crystal sages for self-defense. Crystals boost the magic damage inflicted by the sword and the item discovery of its wielder. Fruits of the lifetime of research conducted by the sages. This is pretty. So what is this? It's zero? Like, I don't need any souls to get this? Yeah, you don't need any souls. Oh, I can't tell you. Never mind. Well, that's what it seems like, because I need 1,500 for this one. 10. Well, yeah. So. Hmm. This is actually, this looks really pretty. I like this. Uh, okay, so this is the demon's great axe. This great axe, a favorite among demons, contains the strength of fire. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be. Demonic flare. Briefly cause flame within to flame. Flare and smash it upon earth and foes. So these are like... Oh, this one's good. Oh, man, that watermelon piece has so much water in the melon. <laughs> it looks like I peed myself. It just, like, just gushed all over me. Yeah, so look at this. Vort's Great Hammer. So this is going to be... Yeah, this is... the. I have this soul. I know I have this soul. Great Hammer wielded by Vort, the Outrider Knight of the Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Hmm. You know what I love about recording like this and doing this YouTube stuff? What? I can just say the dumbest things. Oh! Oh! I'm so dumb! <laughs> I, I just realized the Hollow Slayer Greatsword is from the Rotted Greatwood. I am I'm sorry I didn't realize that. <laughs> I forgive you. I don't know if they do, but I do. <laughs> okay, so then there's our store spear. One of the curses that festered within the belly of the Great Wood, and a terrible weapon favored by Earl As Arster the Impaler. <laughs> Arster. Um, just his name and then with, with the impaler, impaler coming after it. It's, yeah. <laughs> I'm immature. Yeah, you are. The spear is and wreath in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating foes restores HP. Wow. That's kind of cool. Wow, it's actually got meat on it. <laughs> and then we have Demon's Fist. So a demonic fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can release this power through use of its skill. 
When two-handed, fists are equipped to each hand. Oh, okay. So this would do the Flame Whirlwind. And then we have Havel's Ring from the soul of a stray demon. So we got this from the stray demon. Ring for warriors keen on heavy accoutrements. Increases maximum equip load. This ring was named after Havel the Rock, the battlefield compatriot of Gwyn the First Lord. Oh my god, that is so nice to read in this game. <laughs> like, I just love that right there. The art of war has been a constant since ages past, and those who would follow in Havel's footsteps are no fewer now than in his own day. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder if he's in this game. That'd be cool. I think. <laughs> Pontiff's left eye. I got this one from Boreal Valley Board. Okay. Bewitched ring that Pontiff Solvin bestowed upon his knights. Recovers HP with successive attacks. So... Is it when you attack you get HP? Something like that. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. I don't know if I want to get that though. I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to get. I'm not sure if I want to get any of these things. I probably will, but for now I'm not going to. I need to think about it a little bit more. So well, let's talk to him and see if he says anything differently. No star of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. Right, we set a second. Yes. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die. So he did say no star that's fire, already. the fast fading so. a reenactment of the first linking so it is. I may be but small. Hmm. Now now. Do not be away over long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just really quick look around, see if anything else has changed. Um if not, I'll come back here and we'll do something with these souls that I have. Grey Rat is back! Okay, let's go talk to him and see what he has oh, for us. Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. Oh, it took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Oh, really? Go on. Have a gander. I... Okay, let's see. Let's see what you got. Oh, this is new, I think. Lightning Urn. Oh, he got a Divine Blessing! So holy water blessed by the Queen of Lothric. Holy restores HP, cures the ailments. The Queen of Lothric, married to the former King Osiris, was initially revered as a goddess of fertility and bounty. After giving birth to Ocelot, her youngest, she quietly disappeared. So basically... Did he fucking go to... Lothar Castle and steal sh <laughs> <laughs> That's where he went. <laughs> Dragon hunting tool used by Lothric knights. Explodes upon contact, inflicting lightning damage. The knights of Lothric have since tamed dragons, but were once hunters of dragons themselves. This explains their special hunting gear and why they worship the sun. That's actually kind of interesting. They were once hunters of dragons. So that kind of like reminds me of like Ornstein, kind of. Yeah. So, but then they worship the sun, and I automatically go to friggin' Solaire because mm -hmm. you know that's that's just you know it's just what you do. <laughs> but I guess it's because I don't know. I guess it's because. Dra I, mean, I guess it's because lightning is synonymous with dragons, obviously, but it's also synonymous with sun. 
because and then look at Gwyn. Gwyn was Lord of Sunlight. Yeah. And he used lightning. Ornstein used lightning too. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer. Yeah. So. Wow. But, I think I think this guy friggin' went to Lothar Castle, and he fucking stole stuff. Right, he's got more balls than you. He did seem pretty out of breath. Like it must be pretty crazy over there. What else did we get? I don't remember what else he had before. I don't think this is anything new over here. This I think might be new. Is this new? I think this might be new. Shield of the Pontiff's Knight, which is spirits that linger in Irithyll. This blue-gray shield shrouded in thin thinly cold air is light and brittle. Hmm. This... So, oh, he's got, has he always had this? No, wait. Okay, no, I thought that, I, 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 I remember that. I got it confused with the wood um, arrows. I was like, wait, is he, is he charging double <laughs> for this? So, okay, so this is all the items that he has now. Um, I don't know if this is, something that he had before. I might take some arrows, but I'm not sure because I, I might, I don't know, I kind of want to get um, that hat because I have souls for it. <laughs> oh my god. It's like such a bad hat. It's like there's no defense stuff in it. But it's fashionable. Yeah. That's what matters. I can keep the ring. Was... Yeah. <sighs> You're mean. Goodbye. What? And He's all like safe. about to cry and shit, and you're just like. He yeah. wasn't crying. He was like. <laughs> no, he was like. <sighs> let me get. Let me get closer so you guys can hear that. Uh, well, Matt, just good to see it's you. Hard. Shut up, Andre. What needs me? It was like. <sighs> <laughs> Why did you have to do that? Guys, I want. I want them to agree with me down in the comments below. Say that girlfriend is wrong. He's about to cry. And girlfriend's being pretty mean to him, like, yeah, I got the ring. Oh, yeah? Well, then let's go find out. Oh, hell, and in one. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Oh, this... oh. What did he Ooh. say? Oh, hello, and in one piece. What? You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. Whatever! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Goodbye. And stay safe. Okay. Oh, this place is a <laughs> Dude, I told you you can leave. It was Stop so, complaining. That was like such a long pause. I was like, what, what happened? <laughs> oh, how may I? I'm gonna get your hat. I need the hat in my life, so it is mine now. Thanks. Ashen one. Okay, so let's put my hat on. I already read this, right? Enormous hat that completely obscures the face. Belong to twin gurus known as circle it's crystal sages. <laughs> the pair are said to be successors to the great sage Logan, and this big hat is a symbol of their pedigree. Oh yeah! Ew. <laughs> I completely forgot about that thing. Okay, so uh, it's okay because you can't really see my face. So I'm still pretty fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> I look good. Yeah. So that is going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring me going back and re tying loose ends again. <laughs> I think for sure now I should have everything in the Undead Settlement you better, completely man. done. You better, like, make some real progress. This is still progress. I killed a boss. That's progress. Okay. You killed a boss so you could transpose souls and you decided not to transpose anything. 
Whatever. Uh, I'm just I'm just messing. No, you did good. You did good. <laughs> I got him. I I killed him on my first try yeah. after going back to him. Yeah, you did good. In like it's been a while. I'm just so. a little by heart because I couldn't use a warhead, but hopefully next episode I'll get a warhead in. <laughs> Whatever. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>